Today we're here at Stormont with 90 people with lived experience and those affected by cancer to ask politicians what are you waiting for in relation to getting this place back up and running. Cancer services are facing cuts, they're facing issues within the system and these are the people that ultimately pay the price. We've had the announcement that a preventative cancer drug has been made available in England. That's not happened in Northern Ireland. Without the institutions up and running, we can't change the fundamental issues that affect people living with cancer here in Northern Ireland. They're feeling let down. They see these news stories. And they're going, why is that not available for me? Why am I being victimised by the fact that we don't have politicians to support the decisions that need to be made for my health? My mum was Colette Terrace. She was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2018. Um, after a pretty tumultuous journey with her cancer through COVID, um, she was admitted to Craigavon Hospital on the 20th of December, just past. Um, I was initially told to try and get her painkillers as opposed to admitting her. Um, that obviously didn't touch the pain that she was in um, and there was no ambulances available, so I had to get a friend to bring us down. When she arrived at Craigavon, they said that she had spinal cord compression um, which is basically a tumour on the spine caused by her cancer. At that point, we were told that she needed an emergency MRI um, and an emergency MRI means that you require one within 24 hours to delay or prevent the onset of permanent paralysis. She waited the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, the 31st, the 1st and then eventually had one in the early hours of the 2nd. To do that, she was transferred up to the Royal in Belfast and then to the city hospital. By that time, she was completely paralysed from the ribcage down um, and then told in an open ward that she would never walk again. So her treatment at that point became palliative um, because there was nothing that could be done. Um, she was totally traumatised by the fact that she waited that amount of time knowing that she would never walk again and while having that emergency MRI may not have changed her prognosis it definitely would have changed how she experienced the last few days and weeks on this planet and that's something that's really important because people are constantly traumatized and re-traumatized throughout their cancer journey um, and the ability and the chance to die well is something that is really really lacking. We have year-on-year -year budgets set by the Secretary of State. We were about to sign off a multi-year budget before the Assembly collapsed, which would have created breathing space, allowed for transformation in our health system. When we don't have a minister to make those decisions, we have civil servants who don't have that accountability and don't have those decision-making powers. So we're literally stuck in a status quo at the moment.